There is now a massive amount of plasterboard fixings available. One of the commonest questions that I get asked is, which is the best one and the easiest one to use? For me, it is this, which is the zip fix fixing. These actually used to be called snap toggles a few years ago. I'm not entirely sure if snap toggles are still available. If they've done a licensing deal with Timco or what, I'm not sure. But you can now get them called zip fix fixings or you may still be able to get snap toggles. These are exactly the same product but they just have a different name. This is the M6 version and these are absolutely fantastic. In a previous video I did do a weight test to see how much weight these could take on a sheet of plasterboard before the plasterboard failed and I'm pretty sure that these came in second just behind the spring toggle. And these actually come with two different sizes of screw. This is the M6 version so you get an M6 by 40 and an M6 by 60 depending on what you are fixing. In my opinion these are the best plasterboard fixings available. They're very quick and easy to use. They work every time and you can also use these on lath and plaster walls. There are a lot of fancy plasterboard fixings out there. A lot of them are unnecessary. You can use one of these and your job is done. It is quick, easy to use and very inexpensive. In a previous video I tested out some fixings and by far the strongest one was the spring toggle. These are absolutely superb because these are widely available but they can be difficult to use because you actually need to screw that on the end and then push that through the hole before you allow it to spring open. So if you're using several fixings at the same time on a TV bracket etc it can be fiddly getting them all through the holes at the same time. Also if you're decorating and you remove the item from the wall you tend to lose that part down the cavity. So spring toggles are absolutely superb but they do have some drawbacks which is why I prefer the snap toggles or the zip fix fixings. When it comes to ease of use you can't get any easier than these fixings. We simply need to place the bracket in position where we want it. I'm then going to mark through the two fixing holes. Do that for both brackets. And then I'm just going to drill a 13mm hole through there. Then we just need to take the zip fix, get all the bits so that it is like that and then once it goes through that bit will drop down so that goes straight through the hole and then we simply pull that straight back and then we slide down the plastic part. Once we've done that we then just snap off the plastic piece there and we are left with a threaded hole in the plasterboard. I can then just take the screw and the bracket. I do have to use a washer in this instance because the holes are large in the bracket. And then we can simply screw that in there.
So as you can see, they are an absolute piece of cake to use. And not only that, I can now remove the screws. I could decorate the wall and then put them back because the holes stay captive. So they are an absolutely fantastic idea.